Xcode on your computer it will take some time ok create new project single view application now give your project name I'm just giving it uh, font style test click on next now you can choose over here your project location giving it export testing click on create now it will take few seconds to be complete that now I have just downloaded that font library from the Google so I'm just drop I'm just drag and drop in my Xcode project over here so that I can add it into my applications okay okay so I'm just drag okay wait for a while before that I'm just making a new group in that right click and new group I'm just giving a uh, name to that group it's a font okay I'm just opening it and drag and drop in my export just leave, leave that as it is default setting okay now it has been added before using that font style what you have to do just click on your info list and click on new okay and type over here font it will automatically rendered and provide fonts provided by application click on enter okay and click on plus oh wait for a while click on arrow sign and just give your item name over here so I'm just copy that name control A so that I can uh, copy complete name okay dot odf extension with dot odf extension control C and I'm just pasting that okay and click on enter leave that okay just click on anywhere on the screen so now what you have to do before using that one task is incomplete click on your Xcode project and click on build phase now click on copy bundle resources click on add new it will automatically provide all the folder and all the files of your Xcode project so click on open skin which is my font name and click on add okay so now what you have to do just go to your storyboard so that you can check now all work has been complete now I'm going to tell you that how you can use that just take a label for example and give an alignment to that before okay center vertical and heading from both side 10 10 right left both will be 10 10 at Togansen it automatically it is and now I'm just taking center and I'm giving it text testing okay it's a testing font style now I'm just choosing a new font from here it's a custom now uh, choose anyone for example I'm choosing that did you see change in your label again I'm doing that process this one see 
see the change okay now you can see uh, running that on my iphone 5 simulator click on run it's automatically run on simulator wait for a while because it takes some time to be complete that process because i'm launching simulator on my computer first time wait for a while now it's getting launched it's about to complete Style over here. So, guys, hope so. Now you get better to know about how you can add new font in your X code. So, thank you for watching that video. Hope so you like my channel and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.